how can I put this? You have some people who are real techie and boring. And you have some people who are real techie and energetic. Yeah. So you have to take what the boring people say and yeah. amp it up. Or you have to take what the energetic people say and run with it. Today, we have a special guest, Kenyatta. How are you? I'm good. How you doing? Hey, I can't complain. It's raining here where I'm at, but, you know, it's also Sunday, so I'm just chill out. Um, well, it's it's hey, picture perfect here. weather here, so I'm, I'm good for now. Oh, there you go. There yeah. you go. So, uh, again, like I told you before, um, I don't want to eat too much of your time, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, All right. Yeah. So the first question is, what were some of your most challenging aspects of the careers sales engineering course? And how did you overcome them? My, one of my biggest challenges was that I did not know what I was getting myself into. I knew what I was going to, I knew what I wanted to accomplish, what I wanted to do. But at the same time, like a lot of people, including me at the time, thinking like sales engineering, when they hear engineering, they hear like they're thinking it's techie. Like, okay, you got no cloud, you got no Python, you got no all this other stuff. And um, it wasn't that at all. Uh, basically, depending on the company, from what I learned, um, doing my research, uh, that's how I overcame it, doing my research, doing my, my due diligence online, because at the end of the day, I feel like I have control of my own destiny and what I make th how I make things turn out for me. I can't count on anybody to do it for me. So yeah. um, I did my due diligence. I did my research. I looked at what people were saying online and what a sales engineer was. Before I did, before I knew what a sales engineer was, I looked into the niche that I wanted to do. Um, so that led me to that that role in the first place. So okay. in order for me to, so I did my research. I looked into it. Um, when I started the class, um, the the program, I ended up just listening. I didn't do too much talking in the beginning, as you know. Mm -hmm. um, I just listened. I, I paid attention, and I took the I took the gems, and I did what I need to do with them. There you go. Okay, so that brings us to question number two. Um, what are some of the most valuable insights and takeaways you gain mm -hmm. from taking this course? Um, one of the most valuable insights is that people do forget that sales engineering is sales. Is not you're not in control of the sale, but you are a part of the sale. So with sales, you have to be able to promote yourself. And if you don't, instead of trying to promote somebody else's company, you got to promote yourself first to get into the company. Mm -hmm. So having that promoting um, in that marketing spirit, I ended up um, just taking everything from it, using it to my advantage. And I mean, it's, it's so short, it's so short and cut for it. Like, it's not that hard. It's more simple than, than people make it. You overthink things, you come into it, you make it bigger than what it should be. And then it makes it, it creates an imaginary challenge. Your mind and what you speak comes into existence. I really believe in that now. I've had to learn that over my years of growing up. So yeah. I, I took that information that I got from them. Um, they really, a lot of, a lot of people are like, how can I put this? You have some people who are real techie and boring, and you have some people who are real techie and energetic. Yeah. So you have to take what the boring people say and mm. amp it up, or you have to take what the energetic people say and run with it, because that's great. We have some people in there that gave us great gems, like what we need to have on our resume, um, what they're really looking for, because me as the instructor, I worked as a recruiter. Like I'm not gonna tell you that you need to have you know, this robotic, um, resume because if we have what 150 students, it's a lot of people. Yeah, and everybody has the same resume. They know it's like it it's, it becomes redundant, and they're gonna you know what I mean click past all of you. So they actually gave us important information. They gave us all the information we need to know because like a lot of people think that they're coming in and they're um saying like, hey, this is what you do as a sales engineer, and this is what you do, and this is how you do it, and this is what you need to know, and you use this information, and you go and you succeed. No, 
because some people are going to work for a medical um, company. Some people are going to work for a, a, a app communication company. So they're telling you the gener generic of what you need to do. And then you use that generic information because they can't teach you how to work for Microsoft because they're not Microsoft. They're careers. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So that's what I took from it. And I just use what I, the, the steps that I need to know and I'm going to apply it to whatever company that I work for. And the company that I work for, I'm going to get their information and I'm going to get their way of doing things and use the general information I got from careers and push it toward that company software. Okay. That's just how you got to do it. Hey, it sounds like you have a plan. So I do. <laughs> that's always important. Um, so what advice would you give somebody who's considering um, taking careers? Make it your own. I've had somebody just recently, a new student that starts tomorrow that inboxed me. I'm not going to call his name, but um, I told him, make it your own. Make it work for you. Like, you can't come in expecting to get a handout. You have to do the work. And you, if you don't do the work, even if you feel like, like a lot of people feel like the work is redundant. I'm in college right now still for my bachelor's degree. And a lot of those classes are redundant. Mm -hmm. But if I don't do the work, I can't get to the next step. Gotcha. I hate English, but I got to use it. <laughs> That's just how it goes. Yeah. So make it your own. Like if you are um, a type of person who um, wants that, just that handout, You, I, I hate to say it, but you ain't going to make it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you got you, you to be the person that, like I said, takes the information of this is what you talk. This is, this is the talk points um, for a sales engineer. Now, if I tell you to say, um, hey, how are you today? Um, I heard that your company is having issues with uh, traffic in your company, you know, or getting getting being able to be seen as a, as a startup company. Um, or as you, if I tell you to say it like that, you could you could tweak it and say it in your own way, be you. Mm -hmm. So just take the information and be you, and go out there and get it. Yeah, that's good, solid advice. Yeah. Uh, so. You know, you, I know you be on social media where you say you see something that's not right. like one out of five stars. I wouldn't recommend it um, mm -hmm. or the opposite is fire. How many mm -hmm. stars do you give careers one out of five? I would say I would give them because, like I said, everybody has their pros and cons. Everybody comes in looking for what they're looking for. So a true, honest fact, I would give them a four, a four. out of five only because. I won't, I wouldn't say that careers is giving me they gave me that fire. They mm -hmm. didn't they didn't they didn't they not they're not responsible for using the fire. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, like I got the only reason I'm in the mindset that I am in now when it comes to trying to get into this field mm -hmm. is because mm -hmm. um they gave me the power in the in the in the fire to go network, go market myself, get in these groups, create my resume, revamp my resume. And create re revamp my LinkedIn. They gave me all. I wouldn't have done none of this if it wasn't for that that program. Yeah, let's be honest. Yeah. I would have still had that resume back from two thousand and ten. You know, I would have still had that that LinkedIn from two thousand and twelve, and I would have been still like looking for jobs, applying for all these jobs. Like, why am I not getting anything? Because yeah. I didn't. I did. I didn't take that program. I didn't put in the work. I, I wouldn't have even known any of this stuff if it wasn't for that program. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have even, and I'll be honest, I wouldn't have even met these people that I met outside of careers and in careers if it wasn't for careers. Yeah. Okay. Um, last question for you. Um, like I said, I appreciate you taking the time to do this. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Is there anything that you're working on that you want to promote? Right now, I am promoting. Um, I do have another business outside of trying to break into the tech field. I do do credit restoration, student loan refinance, home refinance. Um, we do a list, a long list of things. So with that, um, I just want to promote that. And I want to have my links on my LinkedIn and my social medias. Okay. Um, I'm also going to hand you the link so you can also have that. And um, also, I'm promoting uh, definitely a resume revamp okay. service. It's okay. not my business, but I definitely am affiliate of that business, and I want to be able to promote that because 
I'm going to be the product of the product, both my credit restoration business and the revamp um, resume business. So okay. you're going to see some results on my LinkedIn for sure. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, we're going to talk after this, too. We're going to get all that together so people yeah. can have access to all those resources. So, um, yeah, um, that was all the questions. Like yeah, I, said, I appreciate you for inviting me. Were there any other last words you want to say? Um, please don't be discouraged. Please do your due diligence, do your research, figure out that this is something that you really want to do. Um, and then take off and, and succeed. That's all you can do. Mm -hmm.